Hi everyone, come on in. It's another session of Art with Ruiz. Death is challenging but can be quite rewarding at the end. Don't be afraid, be an artist. So today I will touch on the topic of HDRI likes. Most of my creation uses it to some extent, but this time we will see if we can exclusively use an HDRI likes on a scene without any more modification and how we can also greatly improve upon it. Um, so for this set, uh, I'm using this uh, LA pool that comes with its own light set which is the HDRI environment lights. As you can see, the creator designed it in a way that is super fast for rendering because um, it doesn't have much texture. Uh, like you can see on the pool side, you don't even have the cement or concrete texture. And the building on the background is actually fake. It's just the HDRI image, but uh, he designed it in such a way that it blends perfectly with the actual objects. So let's take a look how it, how it looks like on the actual screen. So uh, let's take a look around. It has a uh, yeah, some bench. Uh, this tree is fake. It's part of the background. The building behind is is fake. It's part of the background as well. Yeah, there's a nice place for you to party and have some drinks on the side, but you cannot actually move your models over there. So it it actually has a lot of limitation, but it's all it's fine. This is how it's uh, created and it's how it's supposed to be. So the good side is that it's very lightweight on your GPU memory. So if you have a old video, uh, old GPU that has like four gigabyte of memory, it's, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. So yeah, there is a. Uh, actually, if I would prefer it if this thing is an infinity pool because it just fall off the edges over there. So there is a bit of a garden. Uh, those are actual is actual two D plane, but I wouldn't suggest moving your models over there because um, it's going to be a, a bit looks a bit awkward because it just fall off into the cliff. So if you want to have a great shot, I will propose something like this. Okay, with a. So the camera here use a very a narrow depth depth of field. So the benefit is that uh, as you can see the edge of the pool, the the line is blurred and the fall off looks much more natural, and you can put your character into focus. So let's take a look at the default setting that is provided by the developer. Um, he fine-tuned it to have a, a slightly lower, uh, actually it's a higher exposure value because the lower number goes, it, it becomes brighter. And for the white point, he modified a bit to give it a slightly warmer skin tone as you can see here if i were to choose a perfectly white a perfectly white uh, number um, the skin on the model will become much colder right the whole skin turns more bluish uh, you can use this setting for your other render as well it give a similar effect most of the time yeah it now it's warmer. So I would say the the promo photo is actually quite accurate. You can get very similar result. The artist only use a bit of your typical in Instagram filter to give it a bit of a retro look. 
but if you were just to render it directly you will get great result as well um, but as usual mm -hmm. I I don't just uh, use the base setting I put in some improvement of my own so as usual what I do is I will just render with a dome only setting so that will ignore all your high ray lights then I will then I will render again with a scene only lights so in that way then I can use my like this is my main key light yeah, you will get something like this um, but I, w I wasn't rendering this piece yeah, let's take a look at my RAWs Okay, so this is the result. This is how I created the YouTube thumbnail. So this is the render with the environment light only, key light only, and the rim light only. So let's take a look at how I come up with the final product. Okay, so this is the environment light only. The source picture is actually this. So the original one is a bit on the dark side. I prefer it to have a lighter tone. So what I do is, as usual, I go into the Photoshop camera raws and I just tune up the exposure, the shadows, uh, the blank levels. All right. So this is where I blend in with the with the, the key light. Yeah, let's take a little bigger. So I just want you want you to notice that um, beside uh, having more exposure in the skin, the eyes also brighten up quite a bit because part of the light I use is um, is a light that is focused on the face, so that it give you the reflection on the eyes. So I'm not done with the picture yet. I still want to create a bit more of a sunlight feature. So this is where the rim light comes in. Yeah, this, this is originally how it looks like. All right, so now you can see there are more lights on the hair. If you're more orange tone, more pleasant look. This one I just give you a more blurry a blurry filter on the same rim lights. Yeah, so when everything is complete, this is the final result. And so what I do, oops. So what I do oh. is for the final touch I go into the for the final touch oh. I go into Filter Nick Collection under Color Effects Pro 4. Yeah, this is actually double layer of sunlight, so you can just ignore it, but yeah. Yeah, so this is the default setting. So once you key it in, you will get a, a sunlight filter around the the pool and the model area. So as usual, if you want to be specific to the model, just use the control points and adjust the slider accordingly. So there you have it. This is the end product mm. that I created. And this is the default render that you can get directly from Death 3D render using just the HDRI lights huge difference but yeah it's, uh, it's good as a, a base color for you to work on so I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope you will subscribe yeah sorry uh, earlier I uploaded a version with some incorrect audio in the background so this is the corrected version thanks for watching